Maps are one of the most useful tools we have to understand the world around us. Whether you're trying to find your way to a new place, learning about different countries, or studying landforms, maps help us visualize locations and distances. Let's explore some key features of maps and how they help us. A map is a flat drawing that shows the features of a place, such as cities, rivers, mountains, and roads. Maps come in many different types. Some show political boundaries, others highlight natural features, and some are used for navigation. While maps are convenient and easy to carry, they can slightly distort the size and shape of the land because the Earth is actually round. A globe is a round model of Earth that shows continents, oceans, and other physical features. Unlike a flat map, a globe represents the Earth's shape accurately, so there is no distortion. However, globes are not as convenient to carry around, which is why we often use maps instead. The title is a word or phrase that tells you what a map is about. This is one of the first things you should look at when reading a map. The title helps you understand if the map is showing a city, a country, a type of landform, or even something special like population density. A compass rose is a symbol on a map that shows directions, north, south, east, and west. Some also include intermediate directions, northeast, southeast, northwest, southwest, to help with more precise navigation. Did you know that early explorers didn't always have compasses, so they used the sun, stars, and natural landmarks to find their way? A grid system is a pattern of lines, usually forming squares or rectangles, on a map or globe. These lines help locate places more easily. Many maps use latitude and longitude lines as their grid system. If you look at a world map, you'll see horizontal and vertical lines running across it. These lines form a grid that helps pinpoint exact locations using coordinates. A legend, also called a key, explains the symbols and colors used on a map. Maps use symbols to represent things like mountains, lakes, roads, or even airports. A scale is a tool on the map that helps you understand the distance between places. Since maps are much smaller than real locations, the scale tells you how distances on the map compare to real life distances. For example, a map might say that one inch equals 100 miles. That means if two cities are two inches apart on the map, they are actually 200 miles apart in real life. Maps help us in many ways. It helps us to find the best route to a destination, learn about different parts of the world, understand how borders and places have changed over time, and discover new places and planning adventures. The next time you see a map, try to identify these features, title, compass rows, grid system, legend, and scale. Let's discuss. What is the main difference between a map and a globe? 